Hello beautiful people, welcome. As you can see, autumn is arriving in Crete. I want to speak today about the topic of aliveness again. And what sparked this, this, this topic and this, this insight is a quote I shared on my Instagram stories last week. Now, since this is a story, I've lost it, it's gone, I can't find it again. But the essence of it was this, was we only allow ourselves as much aliveness as we can really contain and experience within our bodies. And we'll balance that out with um, things that numb us out, that make us feel less alive. So there's this kind of balance that we're dancing with depending on how much aliveness we, we can allow in our beings, how much of that energy of aliveness, that vitality we can, we can allow, we can experience, or we can even contain. So I want to speak about that a little bit um, in this video, about my own experience of that, and also give you an invitation to apply this to your, to your life, to your work, to your health, to your relationships. So in the past few weeks, I've really noticed um, I've been quite sensitive to, to this topic very much after a summer um, weeks where I felt very alive and I was eating good food, training well, spending time in nature, spending time with friends and really feeling yeah alive. And I've noticed over the past few weeks, I really saw how I was numbing out just a little bit more choosing the foods that weren't too good for myself, um, smoking a little bit even, to be really honest, um, you know, losing myself in reading when that wasn't really what felt good at the time, um, or being on my social media, scrolling on my phone, being kind of head down into electronics. And what happens when uh, we do this when I do this is that I really disconnect. I really notice myself disconnecting and I had to really pause and, and observe that and go, okay, what, why am I doing this? You know, what is it that I'm perhaps avoiding in my body? Um, and if you've seen my social media posts over the past few weeks, you'll see that I did experience waves of real grief, sorrow, um, and also fear. Um, I was running or organizing, um, community events this past weekend which went beautifully and were full of aliveness but in the, in the lead up to that I noticed myself being in fear you know fear of stepping up fear of sharing fear of how would it go would people show up would they enjoy themselves and that brought a lot of tension in my body um, and as a result of that perhaps as one result of that I found myself numbing out a bit more um, I, can't, I won't pronounce this word well in English, but anesthetizing, anesthetizing those feelings, numbing out those feelings. And as a result of that, I was feeling not as alive as I normally do. My energy was really uh, up and down. I was struggling more with my workouts. I was struggling more with my work. I was uh, struggling more in my, in my relationship, in my intimate relationship. Struggling to connect, struggling to connect to myself. And struggling as a result of that to, to really be here and now and connected with others. Yeah. And I know this is a theme for all of us, you know, as embodied beings, as energy beings, as um, nature, as life, as alive beings. We're in that, like the quote says, we're in that balance of how much aliveness can I allow in my body right now and where am I numbing that down and there's nothing wrong with that that's the first thing I want to say there's nothing wrong with that it's all okay the first thing I think is to just let go of any judgment you might have around those little habits little behaviors that do cause you to be less sensitive and less present that's it's okay Okay, we, we don't have to condone them, but we don't have to judge them either. Because when we judge them, in my experience, it just makes it worse. And it feels even more icky, and there's even more tension, and it's even more of a struggle to then actually change it and let go of it. So, 
I want to invite us to look at that in those four key areas, life, work, health and relationships. Where in those areas do you feel alive? Do you feel alive in your work or do you feel numb in your work? These are beautiful pointers to tell you if you're on the right track or not. Do you feel alive in your health, in what you're doing for your food, what you're eating, what you're drinking, what you're putting into your body? Because the beautiful thing about these amazing bodies that we have is that they tell us straight away. Some of us are more sensitive to that, depending on your, on your human design. Some, some people would be a lot more sensitive to when you're being loving to yourself than others. But it's something we can all uh, deepen and deepen that, um, that connection. So, yeah, the body will tell you straight away. You'll, in my experience, when I eat right for myself in that moment, knowing that it could change that evening, it can change the next day, I feel alive, you know, I feel joyful, I feel open. When I eat something that isn't right for me, and the more you practice this, the more you, you get a sense of what really works for you and what doesn't work for you, then I really feel myself kind of whew, numbing out, even having to like lie down and, and sleep it off. Um, for, in my, for myself, for example, that's, I'll give you a, a silly example, potatoes. If I eat potatoes, I, that's it, I'm out, I'm numb. But this is also, you know, food, exercise, the movements that we're doing, the work that we're doing, the people we're hanging around, um, how we're living our lives. And anything can really be used to, for our liveness or to numb us out. And I'll give you the example of reading again for this. When I'm aware, when I'm really following an impasse, let's say, um, from my, my guidance, my sacral, to pick up a book and to read, I feel amazing. You know, I feel a lot of, I receive a lot of uh, guidance. I feel at peace. I feel satisfied. When I'm picking up a book, and often this is fiction for me, science fiction, which I do love, but I do use to numb out at times. I pick up that book and I'm not really enjoying it. You know, I have to kind of not even force myself to read it, but I'm not taking it in with as much joy as I could. And those are two different states doing exactly the same thing. So this is the invitation to check in those areas of your life, work, health, relationships. Where is there aliveness? Where is there numbness? And what could you do practically to start to, to shift that balance? Where can you invite more aliveness in those areas? Just keeping that in your in your awareness, in your in your mind, will start to kind of you know, give you pointers as to, as to where you can go so you can start to embody uh, more aliveness, experience more aliveness, feel more aliveness. Because ultimately, that's what we are here to be doing is to be alive, to be in our bodies, to be joyful, to be enjoying this incredible dance of life. And of course, that comes through experiencing the more uncomfortable sides as well. It comes with a numbness at times, it comes with all of these things, so there's nothing wrong with also experiencing those aspects, but we can just give a bit more awareness and focus to them. Yeah, so I hope this was useful for you. Let me know in the comments what you received from it. Let me know what your aliveness looks like, what your numbness looks like. I'd love to hear uh, from you. And if you need any help with this, of course, I'm free for consultations and sessions. You know where to find me at the divinealignment.b. That's all from me and have a gorgeous and beautiful day.